Before starting the video, I would like to talk about the sponsor of this video, KeysFan. KeysFan.com offers cheap and legal OEM software keys in an easy way. You can activate software such as Windows and Microsoft Office in a fast and reliable way with these keys that are 100% official and suitable for online activation. Moreover, they offer lifetime after sales support in addition to 24 by seven customer support. The Happy New Year software special sale is live right now. So don't miss out KeysFan. Upgrade your software at unbeatable prices today. Add the product you need to your cart and catch 52% discount for Windows series with RTG 52 and 62% discount for Microsoft Office and bundle with RTG 62. Don't forget to check the descriptions for details. What's going on everyone, it's RGB Tech back here again. So in this video, we'll be taking a look at the brand new version of WinLater WB64, version 9.1.1. It's an advanced version of WinLater for Android, especially it has some extra additional custom features, like for low-end to high-end Android devices. They have also updated the new Vortec driver for some of these chipsets, like the latest Snapdragon 8 Elite, 7S Gen 3, 7S Gen 2, and some other incompatible Adreno GPUs to support the emulation. All right, now let's head over to the releases section. This time, they've made a lot of significant changes to improve overall performance. Well, currently this version 9.1.1 is in early access. So, in this update, they have updated the custom wine environment. New box 64 0.3.3 custom version, the graphics driver Turnip has also been updated. There's also new support for DXVK GPL Async, so you can install any version you want. And one of the biggest changes is the experimental Vortec driver, which comes with DXVK 1.7.2 and 0.96, and it's been tested on various different devices. They have also updated screen resolution. F-Sync is now enabled by default for smoother gameplay, and Zinc Debug and TU Debug offer more customization options. And here, you guys can able to see the full change log, and honestly, it goes on very long. It's super detailed, and the developer explains everything really well. It's honestly super helpful. It covers all the features of WinLater, like the Zinc Descriptors DB buffer option to improve faster rendering and lowers CPU utilization. Here, there are various performance modes. These modes will be automatically set based on the tasks you load. They have also updated Vulkan, Windows system integration options, including the updated Wine GST option, the gaming, and it's optimized for better performance and also for the general use. It's balanced between performance and quality. You can also be able to see the rendering comparison between WinLater WB64 and other versions of WinLater for Android. Like even the graphics quality is scaled down for better performance. I've gotta say, I'm a big fan of posts like this because the developer makes everything super clear. Anyways, now go to Assets, download, and install the package. If you already installed, you can directly update. So I've already installed this version on my device. And this is my Poco F6 device powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 with 12 gigs of RAM. Same as usual, allow permission. Also, one more thing, go to its app settings. Set battery mode to no restriction so that this won't reduce the performance. All right. Now head over to settings. So here by default box 64 0.3.3 is already set and it's quite pretty stable and works with most games. But if it doesn't work for you, you can simply tap on install components and it will display the list of other box 64 versions. And it's pretty amazing. Like the new versions of box 64 usually mean better optimization, but some can cause crashing issues. I recommend you guys add 0.3.1 or 0.2.8 for some old 32-bit titles of Box64 so you won't run into any major issues. It's actually pretty cool. They provided all of the versions starting from the very beginning, 0.1.2. Well, in terms of Box64 presets, we will go with Performance Gaming Mode. So, create custom preset. Set DynaRex safe flags to value 0. All right, now save the settings. Add new container. Set screen resolution. So this time added some more new resolutions with 20 is to nine aspect ratios for wider screens. Set preferred resolution. Set graphics driver to turnip. But if you are using other devices with these above mentioned chipsets like the 8 Elite, you need have to try the Vortec driver, which is universal and it's actually compatible with some DirectX 10 11 titles. Here for my device, the turnip driver is set to 24.1 default. And same, you can also try with some other new versions. 
They've also added custom drivers for these incompatible Adreno devices, which sounds really great. Now let's try this new version 25 driver. But by default, 24.1 is the best stable one. And DXVK is set to 2.4.1. Same here, you can also try with some compatible version based on the games you play. So let's install the latest 2.5.3.1 version. If you are using a low-end Android, I always do recommend you set frame rate limit to 30. As usual, set audio driver to pulse audio. On wine configuration, set GPU name to GTX 1070 or you can leave it to the 480. Set video memory size to maximum. Two environment variables. Everything is already set. And Mesa shader cache is set to one gigs. And to advanced section, set Windows 10 version. Set startup selection to aggressive. And in affinity, enable all CPU cores. Now save the container. Also, make sure to set some of these settings according to your device's compatibility. All right, and there we go. And this is their new wallpaper. Now let's first check out the direct 3D test. It's crashed. So, as you guys can see, this version of Turnip Driver is unstable. Now let's set it back to 24.1.0. Now everything is fine. And we are getting better FPS this time. All right, guys, now it's time for the test. Let's create some game shortcuts to the container. Now exit. Go to shortcuts. Let's test out the God of War. Set to DXVK 1.10.3 version. Now let's try with the Vortec driver with Stray PC, a quite demanding intensive title. Everything is set to low. V-Sync is enabled for better stability. And there we go. Seriously guys, we can able to play this game on a Vortec driver on the 8S Gen 3. But to be honest, FPS isn't stable on this driver. For Turnip Driver, we'll get better performance. But if you are using any other unsupported Adreno devices like 7 Gen 3, or 7S Gen 2 or even others I mentioned, you can try on it. Still, I need to try with some other versions and do more tests on it. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. Hope you liked it. Also, don't forget to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.